It belongs to me. Andrew Marr left it me when he died. You're not going to live there, are you? Well, don't tell me you believe all these local tales too, Doctor. Well, they seem to have some foundation, don't they? <laughs> yes. How did you come to meet Andrew Marr? I was on the staff at the asylum. Medical? No, 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 admin. Welfare, mostly. It'll be some time before the house is fit to live in. Where are you staying in the meantime? Well, I've been in touch with Andrew Solicitor. He's asked me to stay with him. Welcome, Mr. Foster. I'm Prescott. I'm sorry we're late. I hurt my leg, so we looked in on the doctor. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Dr. Mandeville? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, please come in. You can see Mars Grove from your window. We're quite close. Yes. Well, good night. I hope you'll be comfortable. I'm sure I will. Thank you. Somebody in Mars Grove. Come and look. <laughs> there was someone. The light was on and there was a woman in the room. But the windows are all boarded up. Perhaps you just... Um, perhaps it was a trick of the moonlight. More likely too many brandies after dinner. I'm not used to such luxuries. <laughs> On my pay. Well, good night again. Good night.
Just, uh... Looking around your new house? Yes, that's right. I'm Edward Foster. Yes, I know. My brother told me about you. I'm Sarah Mandeville. Oh, I see. I'm afraid I can't ask you to sit down or offer you anything. You're much younger than I expected. Huh? Hmm. Most of the men in this village are past it. It would be nice to have somebody younger. Where shall we start? I beg your pardon? Cleaning up. Have you hired any help yet? No. Nope. Good. I'll do it. I couldn't ask you to do that. You didn't ask. I volunteered. I'm bored, Edward. Let me help. I'm a very enthusiastic cook, cleaner, housekeeper. You name it, I like it. And I'm completely available. Bank never discloses details of its customers' affairs, Mr. Foster. But he's no longer a customer. He's dead. Well, should still be highly regular. Let me be blunt. I now own Mars Grove. I shall need a bank account locally. Do you want the business or not? Well, it's just that it is so very irregular. Well, I'm staying with Mr. Prescott. No doubt he can recommend me a bank. Oh, well, Mr. Prescott, well, that makes all the difference. Please sit down. I shan't need to consult any figures. I handled this whole affair personally for Mr. Ma. You know, I've often wondered what happened to that money. The sum which I handed to him in cash on that day was 210,000 pounds. You'll only be able to live in a few of the rooms. Unless, of course, you're planning to do the place up a bit and sell it. Oh, no. I promised Andrew I'd look after it. 